Hi, we've all suddenly become students because this COVID-19 environment is nothing, even as, especially for Kenyans two weeks ago, we had ever experienced or could have anticipated. And this is the time where everybody has to admit that they just don't know. And it's important to do that because when you don't know, you open yourself out to learn. And we've all got to go through a really steep learning curve because what's going to get us through this is humanity, its wisdom, its ability to be creative, ability to adapt, and sometimes to just do the step that is in front of us. So let me tell you how it became real for me. I was at Kasuku Center and I just finished a meeting and as I was walking to my car, I saw people suddenly arriving at the supermarket and that's when I looked at my phone and we had, there was news of the first case in Kenya. So in a daze, I entered the supermarket and what did, did I do? I bought toilet paper. This is the fear. This is what I saw the crowd doing. And that time, I could have actually gotten hand sanitizer because it had not run out at that time or had, the prices had not been hiked. But no, what did I do? I bought toilet paper. Why? I really don't know. Then I was like, ah, it'll only stay at one. So I went through the weekend in denial and continued life as usual. And then on Sunday, the president made the announcement. I froze for a couple of hours, but then I realized we've got to move on. And that's when I snapped out of it. So I think we're going to go through th three. It doesn't matter if you're in business. It doesn't matter if you're in a job. We're going to go through three responses during this time. Fear, caution, and adaptability. The first one is fear. And this is generally with our money, with our business, with our career, with our life, even with our children. My first response of picking up toilet paper was freezing and fear. And I just want to ask you, take a moment to take a breath. Do not do actions in fear. Fear over the last week has made people panic shop. It has made people, some people spend money they wouldn't have spent, not just in shopping. People have gone and entertained themselves. They are out every night, which they wouldn't do. And at the back of their heads is fear. It's denial of some sort. Fear can make you hoard. Yeah. Fear for entrepreneurs is rushing to the response of should i let people go that's not the immediate response because it's coming from a place of fear so first take stock calm down take a breath let's not react out of fear because decisions made in fear are always the wrong decision so fear is like a thief in your house you've got to kick out the thief and i think one of the ways you can start doing it is yes Get updates on facts, but there's a lot of noise at the moment. So it's, you need to start putting your mind somewhere else. Take this opportunity to learn something, listen to a someone, read something, anything to move you, have the right kind of conversations, anything to move you from a place of fear, because that's when you can be objective in thinking. The second response is caution. This is practical. This is based on fact. It is maybe uncomfortable. It's what all of us have to do. We have to be cautious. Caution is telling us, wash our hands. Caution is telling us, keep safe distances from people. Caution is telling us, if you're not feeling well, don't go out in public. Caution is telling us, stay home, work from home as much as possible. Caution with your money is understanding, I need my cash to stretch for as long as possible because there is potential of disruption with jobs, with businesses during this time. So I may not choose now to buy a new pair of shoes because I need the money. I may not choose now to buy that car that maybe three weeks ago I was thinking of buying. That's caution, yeah? Caution for the entrepreneur may be I need to look at my cash flow, look at my cash reserves and be realistic as to what I can do when I can actually do it. Not necessarily, not firing people, but just being cautious and saying what are the conversations I need to have. Cautious may tell you this may be I'm not going to go and put my money in a place where I can't access it for one year. I probably need money now. So that's caution. We all need to be cautious. And caution for one person may not look like caution for another person. So you've got to look at caution. Caution is buying more food than you need today. Maybe you want to have food for a couple of weeks, maybe a month. But 
understanding other people the humanity side of this is understanding other people also need food so don't go and shop the entire supermarket for yourself yeah and someone i think put up online said if you go and buy all the hand sanitizers that are available that means you'll be interacting with people who don't have hand sanitizer so so that's caution yeah then we get to the third response adaptability so be cautious Remove fear from the table as much as you can. Be cautious, but don't only stay at caution during this time. Can you go into adaptability? And adaptability is about doing things to move forward. Not stay where you are, move forward. And we've been told to adapt. We've been told you're not going to work the same way you were working before. So it doesn't mean that you send people on leave. No. In fact, I'm hearing people say unpaid leave, paid leave. I'm like, why is leave even a, a discussion? It is that you, you need to work differently. That's all that it means. For you who's working from home, it means that you, the adaptability means you need to be disciplined. Go sit somewhere, plan your time yourself. So that's being adaptable. For many businesses, it's going to be adapting your product or how you deliver your service. At Centonomy, by Tuesday, we had adapted and we are now running our classes online. Adapting is your mindset. You thought people would only work if you're there to monitor when they are doing their work, how they are doing their work. But I think this environment is calling us to also challenge how we actually used to think and in the adapting there is opportunity already there you can see the whole world is using zoom so the usage of zoom in kenya is so high with ju in just a matter of days so there are a lot of businesses that can leverage on current technologies implement new technologies or just a different way of serving your customer yeah for you who's working at home adapting is hey i used to just go to work keep my head low and earn a salary but now adapting is hey let me prove my value let me put up my hand and go over and above so we want to be having these conversations with you especially to navigate the environment of COVID-19, but more so to actually start drawing out the principles that either we should have been using or are going to be using in the future. So I was just laying the groundwork today. Remember, three responses, fear, caution, adaptability. Do not react out of fear. The places you should be in are caution and adaptability and understanding the, the balance between that. So please do join us. Please keep listening. We will be dropping videos. We will be dropping articles that you can read. We will also be having even further courses or classes to help you specific, specifically navigate the issues that you will be facing with your money, with your business, with your career during this time. So please stay subscribed. Thank you.